Hello guys, this is the Medicos video for you. Today's topic is emphysema. Emphysema definition. Emphysema is a chronic respiratory disease where there is a over inflation of air sacs in the lungs, causing a decrease in the lung function and often breathlessness. Emphysema is one of several diseases known collectively as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is completely irreversible. Emphysema Causes Etiology The main cause of emphysema is long term exposure to airborne irritants includes tobacco smoke, marjuna smoke, air pollution, manufacturing fumes. Rarely emphysema is caused by an inherited deficiency of protein that protects the elastic structures in the lungs. It is called alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency emphysema. Pathophysiology Due to the tobacco intake, this release of nicotine in the blood, which increases the neutrophils. Which, which leads to the increase in the neutrophil elastase, which break the elastic fibers in the alveoli, thus causing tissue damage. Whereas tobacco also induces reactive oxygen species, which release the interleukin 8, leukotriene B4, tumor necrosing factors, which increase the neutrophil's number and leads to the release of neutrophil elastase, which leads to the tissue damage, and it may be due to Activation of reactive oxygen species, free radicals, increases the inactivation of antiproteases, that is, functional alpha-1 antitrypsin, which leads to the neutrophil elastase increase, thus causing the tissue damage. Conventional alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency also leads to neutrophil elastase increase, thus leads to the tissue damage. This theory is called antitrypsin protease theory. Whereas another theory is also seen, which is air trapping theory. Let's see the mechanism of air trapping theory. Damage or destroyed alveolar walls no longer support and holds open the airways and alveoli lose the properties of passive elastic recoil. Both of these factors contribute to the collapse during the expiration. And next is emphysema symptoms. They are Difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, chest tightness, morning headaches, weight loss, fatigue, difficulty sleeping, difficulty concentrating, swallow necks. Next is emphysema clinical manifestation in early stages. That is dyspnea, non-productive cough, diaphragm flattens, anterior posterior diameter increase that is barrel chest, Hypoxemia may occur, increasing respiratory rate, respiratory alkalosis, prolonged res expiratory phase, tripod position. Next is emphysema clinical manifestations. Later stages, there are hypercapnia, parsley breathing, muzzle retraction, use of axillary muzzle to breathe, underweight, no appetite, and increasing breathing and overload. Loss of subcutaneous fat, lung sound, dementia. Pulmonary function functions, increasing residual volume, increasing lung capacity, decrease forced expiratory volume 1, water capacity may be normal, arterial bed vessel, normal in moderate disease, may develop respiratory alkalosis, later hypercapnia and respiratory acidosis, chest x-ray, flattened diaphragm, hyperinflation. Next is treatment. Treatment includes Treatment is mainly focused on the improving emphysema symptoms, mainly shortness of breath. First is inhaled cut bronchodilators. Inhaled bronchodilators relax and open the airways. They may be sh short acting, that is albuterol, epotropium, or long acting, that is formoterol, salmoterol, thyrotropium. This medicine may be available as a inhalers, puffers, or a solution. And next is inhaled corticosteroids, reduce inflammation in the airways. Although inflammation is not generally felt to be large contributor to emphysema, this medicine often still helpful. Next is oral or intravenous corticosteroids are used for the acceleration, sudden worsening of emphysema. Oxygen therapy is used with the people with severe emphysema and low oxygen in the blood. And next is lung volume reduction surgery, which Helpful in surgical removal of large area of damaged lungs can improve function of the healthy part of the lung. Next is pulmonary re rehabilitation. It combines nutrition and exercise which increases the lifetime of the patient. Next is lung transplantation. It's more, it is mainly done in the drastic emphysema treatment. Although it, although it could be called an emphysema cure, 
lung transplant can be create ma medical problems that can be worse than severe emphysema and next is i think you like this video please like share and subscribe